I'm starting now. I'm just getting acquainted with the camera. You just have to act like I'm not here. Okay, let's take a Yeah, together, yes, yeah. matching suit. So good. Yeah. <laughs> Reporting <laughs> live, really live, pulling up, cutting out. On the next episode of Black Guys in Green Juice. Hey, Ryan. What? Like, it has to be consistent. Like, it just has to feel like it's kind of the same color, yeah? Yeah, it's fresh. <laughs> This is like super cool. I love the denim jacket, oversized, with a hoodie, with a green, with a blue. Jeez. The snake skin, this shit is like the fresh, like up. super vivid. Yeah. Look at this silver the NASA silver jacket. Space top. In 1990 is the last, one of the last years that they could use the NASA logo. Yeah. Which is what we remember. Yeah. Everything's got stories now. I think the first kind of like really exciting moment, you know, in working with NASA was just getting a reply, reply um, that they were open to doing the project with me. me, me. So it was a lot of like color guidelines that I had to follow. A lot of copy that I had to follow. You know, this is the Fall Winter 2018 collection. 2018, but it says Fall Winter 1990. In respect to the actual time that the logo is actually used. I designed the whole entire collection inspired by their space spacesuit. And so I did a bunch of research. When you put a human being in a spacesuit, suddenly the impossible is possible. Since 1965, These guys are going up to space to kind of push humanity into the future. You have to move around a lot. You need to like be able to hold tools, and, and so that's why the bag is designed to be multi-convertible, multi-functional into three parts. It's a tote bag, it's a fanny pack, and then it's also a backpack all in one. And it's designed in the shape of like a square, which is just like the backpacks that astronauts wear um, when they do spacewalks. Walks, walks. The original dream was to shoot this literally on the International Space Station styled on, on a real astronaut. I feel like this is kind of, you know, one step closer, closer to that. This is amazing. <laughs> okay. Here's our guy. Here's our guy. The next step is fill the balloon. What are the gloves for? Are you handling something toxic? The cleaner we can keep it over the course of this filling process, nice. the higher it's going to get. As the pressure drops, the balloon's going to expand. We know what the burst to diameter is going to be. We can work out what altitude it's going to burst. Oh, cool. <laughs> I wanted to like write on his face. Should we do that now, or like when's the best time to do that? Uh, now is the, the sooner the better. I'm trying to figure out what else to write and write the date. Three, two, one, release.
yeah, we're just going to go and GPS track it once it lands. That's part of the fun, finding it. We're kind of out in the middle of nowhere where the collection landed. Gonna go and retrieve it. Oh, yep, there there's the hole. Oh, got another hole. Jesus Christ, when is it flattened? Fuck. Let's get this baby out of the tree. Wow. Wow, let's take it out of the swampy area. There he is. This is crazy, he went to space. Woo. We did it. <laughs> Working with NASA, that have sent people to space, have sent people to the moon, that explores planets. This is as real as it can get. That's, you know, what I'm using my platform for to tell other stories that, you know, you don't really hear in fashion. 